to Ajudo. So today we gonna check the Odo architecture. First, what is architecture? In software development, software architecture refers to the high level structure of a software system. So we can check the different types of architectures. So here I have only mentioned five, but there are more. So first one is monolithic architecture, second is microservices, third is client server, fourth is layered, fifth is modular architecture. So we can see these five types in detail. First is monolithic architecture. This is a single unified code base where all the components are tightly coupled. We can take an example of simple calculator. A simple calculator app where all functions including addition, subtraction, etc. are part of one program. So if one part breaks, the whole app stops working because it is tightly coupled into a unified code base. Second is microservices architecture. So a system made of small independent services that work together. The example we can say the food delivery system. A food delivery system where one service handles orders, another manages payments and another tracks deliverables. So these each services works independently but it connects to fulfill the user's request. So that's the microservices architecture. So we will split the services into microservices. Third is client server architecture. So this is very simple. A system where the client, which means the user, requests services from a central server. The example is web browser. Using a web browser, if we gonna open a website, suppose google.com, the browser, which means the client sends a request to the server that I want to open the google.com and the server responds with the website data then it will open so that's the client server architecture next is the layered architecture so in this it organizes code into layers for example sandwich sandwich has uh, different types of layers right so it has a top layer it has middle layer and it has bottom layer so if we consider this layer into a software we can say that the top layer uh, UI for showing information and the middle layer will be business logic we write for this process and uh, the bottom layer will be the database storing information so this is the layered architecture and the last is modular architecture the system is divided into separate modules that can be added or removed easily to understand this we can have an example of smartphone if we consider in a smartphone there are lot of modules like a screen battery camera processor etc so how it will work so if you want to upgrade the camera or battery without replacing the entire phone that is possible right so each module has its own function but works together to make the phone functional so that's the modular architecture now coming to Udo. so which architecture Udo uses Odoo mainly uses three architectures, modular architectures with features from client server and layered architecture. So we can check in detail. So first is Odoo layered architecture. So this Odoo system is organized into three layers. One is presentation layer, second is business logic layer and third is data layer. So in the presentation layer, that is the UI that manages the user interface. So in the user interface, we are using the languages such as uh, all JavaScript, XML, HTML, CSS, WhatsApp, uh, etc. So in the next uh, second business logic layer, so it handles the data processing and logics. So there we are using the Python language. And in the third, in the third layer, that is a data layer that manages data storage and there we are using the postgresql database so this is an example of the udo three layer architecture so if you want to get the sale orders then uh, first is the presentation layer so we will request the sale we want total sales so that goes to the logic layer 
so from there that will process the logic like uh, total sales we want that will convert to query then that will go to the next layer that is the database layer so that query works there and we will uh, return the data or we will fetch the data from the database then again it goes to the logic layer the whatever data we fetch that will combine then we will get the result as we have four total sales orders so this is just an example of this uh, layered architecture so next is udo modular architecture so Udo is basically built with separate apps or we can say modules like sales, accounting, inventory, purchase etc. So what is the use of that is like whenever we want we can install that or we can uh, uninstall that, we can customize that. So there is no dependency. Of course there is a dependency of data between this module but module wise we can manage that. So the benefits are. If you want to, if you are into a separate or a specific sector of business, we can only choose the modules we want to install. Then new features can be added without affecting the existing ones. And the developers can create custom modules for specific business requirement. So these are the ben benefits of Udo modular architecture. Next is Udo client server architecture. The web client that's a front end sends a request to the Odo server that is the back end which processes the data and sends response back. So this allows users to interact with Odo through web browsers or mobile apps. So this is the Odo client server architecture. So why these architectures are important? So I will give you an advice don't develop the software without understanding its architectures it's same as constructing a house without knowing the base so what will happen if we construct a house without knowing the base we will not get a good result we will not get a good or a solid or we can say robust result so try to understand the architecture first then we can build whatever we want upon that thank you